Hello, and welcome to this tutorial uh, on how to adapt a fairly well-known block swapper so that it swaps back when you step off the pressure plate uh, rather than doing this um, where you have to step back on it again um, to swap it back. I don't know who created the original design. Um, I'm working off one I found in a video by William Goosen, which I will link in the description. The adapted design works like this. Um, so you can save precious seconds out of your daily routine of, I don't know, I, I make a cup of tea in those few seconds. <laughs> Not really, but man, I wish I could. Uh, so this is the basic design. If you want more instruction on how to make it, um, check the video link to the description. All I will say is that you do need um, redstone on this block and this block for it to work. And I'm working off the assumption that you're triggering it with a pressure plate um, here, but it can be adapted as necessary. So the ingredients you need are all here. This is all you need. And all you have to do is make this simple circuit here, like so, um, with a, a repeater set there and a redstone here. Cut the wire so it doesn't create an endless loop and cause mayhem and destruction and <laughs> change this to three ticks because otherwise it won't work because Pistons are weird, very, very, very weird creatures. And that's it. That's all you need. Um, and now it works like this. Um, and I found that really useful. Saves a bit of time and it's, it's a useful thing to have. All I will say is make sure you don't ever put a block on top of this uh, when you're filling in around it because that happens, so yes. Unless you want that to happen, don't. There you have it. Uh, I hope this is useful to someone um, and have a great day.